Here we go. All right, here we go. Okay, it's a fantastic day. It's been a fantastic. Actually, it's been a couple of weird days. My internet has been down. Personally, I think this is problem, reaction, solution from my uh, internet provider. I think they create the problem and then I react. They find the solution. They turn out to be the heroes, right? Uh, but a, a few days ago, uh, my internet wasn't working. And so I called in and I said, what's up? And they said, well, your unit or your router is like three years old. So go ahead and take it in and get it replaced. And I did. I did that. And the new one that I received didn't function. It didn't work. So for the last two days, last night, uh, at like seven o'clock, I called in and I was like, man, my internet's not working. I just replaced this router. What is up? And some dude, man, it was so annoying. He was like, um, can I ask you a question? You just ask me a question. Just what is it that you're going to ask me? Please just ask me. Go. Okay. Okay. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Uh, can I ask you another question? Just freaking ask the question, son. Didn't resolve anything. 25 minutes. I called maybe. I ended up just hanging up with him. And uh, I called another three hours later. And they couldn't figure it out. So they said go and replace the modem. And I am. I'm going to go replace it. And I did. I went and picked up a new modem. So um, shot five over. Uh, I got first place. I won me a good 200 bucks betting. If you're going to bet in golf. if uh, Or if you're going to play golf. And you expect to play consistently, like in tournaments and stuff, you've got to put down cash. I haven't discussed this at all, but I bet all of the time on the golf course. All of the time. It doesn't have to be for a lot of money. The guys that I happen to play with today like to bet a lot of money, but uh, it doesn't have to be a lot. But you've got to put something down, like a Snickers bar. You know what I mean? A, a soda pop or whatever it is, but you've got to put something down. I'm just leaving uh, me and Ed's, my little victory dinner. I could have shot one over, but I triple putted three times and uh, didn't. Oh, I had two balls over the green that were uh, on the way back. I hit, them, I hit them over the green, and then I had to come back and save it, save the par, and I didn't. So had only one birdie on the day, but it was a good day. It's a positive because I'm alive, because I'm happy, because I'm, I've got tons of energy. I just went in me and Ed's and I ordered a medium chicken garlic. They gave me a large and they're like, uh, is that okay? Is that okay? And I'm like, no, it's not okay. A large? I ordered a medium. Medium, mofo. Come on, man. Yes, of course it's okay. Who's going to complain? Nobody. Of course you're not. Who's going to complain? Out on the golf course? There was a ruling, a questionable ruling. Oh man, you're watching the video right now of, of uh, the entire round, right? Check this out. They were betting against one another, right? And uh, one of the guys was penalized because he tried to hit the ball out of the water and it didn't come out or it did come out, but it was still in a hazard. And when a ball's in a hazard, you're not allowed to ground your club in the hazard. Well, what he did was he hit the ball out of the water. It didn't come out of the hazard. It was still within the hazard. And he cleans off his club in the water. He takes like three swipes in the water. Well, the group behind us was watching that. And they had like $150 each that they were playing. And so we got onto the 18th green. And they started arguing with one another. Right? They started arguing. Man, it sucks that I don't have video of this because it was like, what just happened, guys? Okay, he, one of the guys, the guy that was being penalized goes, you know what, you're just a pussy. He calls this other guy a pussy and the, the, the guy who's being called a pussy says, I guarantee you won't say that to me again. And then the guy goes, pussy, like that. Like he slows it down and milks it. Dude, the guy that got called a pussy confronted him, went up to his face and punched him in the face. An uppercut. Punches him. Uppercut to the grill. Uh, so anyway, they went at it for a little while. And uh, the guy who got punched in the face, 
he got really emotional, as he should, and he called the cops and said, I'm going to press charges on you for assault. And, um, you know, we, he wasn't thinking, obviously. It was the heat of the moment. He's a really passive guy. He's like a big teddy bear. He's just like really cool and chill and he irritates people and he probably doesn't play golf the way he should, but he's always smiling and always having, having a good time. This is the guy that got punched. So he calls the cops, the cops show up and, uh, after we calmed them down and I had to tell him, bro, you're going to see him in the future. Like you're going to see him again over and over and over. Is this really what you want? And by the way, the guy who threw the punch works in a position of authority. So for him, it was like really important that the cops didn't come out and he ended up that he, you know, press uh, charges don't get pressed against him because he works as a CEO and he would be fired. I mean, it would be, you know, uh, an administrative leave and uh, probably get fired and that would change his entire life. So I told the guy who got punched, chill out, man, and just think about what you're doing because you're going to change this man's life. And he said, well, he shouldn't have punched me. And I said, I know, but you guys both fucked up. You both made a mistake. You called him a pussy. This guy's used to throwing people people around because he works in the prisons. He's a CO. He's used to authority. He's used to dominating people, man. He's used to slapping people around. And you're going to call him a pussy? If you're going to call this guy a pussy, you know, expect him to, to do something about it. And he did. He, he threw a punch. And um, and that was it, man. But we calmed him down. And um, we made him hug. And we made him kiss. And uh, <laughs> I've got a funny story. I have to find out if I can even tell this story. Because it's pretty... It's a heavy hitter, but uh, I'll ask if I can tell the story and then I'll tell it later on. Funny story with my brother and my nephews. So uh, anyway, that was it, man, but I I don't really know. It was just a really good day. The weather was freaking great. I won some cash. So it's just been a really good day, guys. I I don't really know what to say aside from it's just fantastic to be alive and I'm glad you're listening. And if you can get something out of this, that makes me happy. I'm very happy and I want you to be happy. I do have one thing to say though, Um, you know, when you start your day, and this is something that I do before I start golf rounds, is, um, you know, say in your mind, I hope this person has a good day. Think about one person in particular and say, I hope that person has a good day. And that'll make you feel better. Before I start rounds, before I play golf, I say it to myself. I don't say it to anybody else. I just say, I hope that guy shoots really well today. I say that to myself because I don't want any hatred in my heart. I really don't. I want nothing but positive energy and I want to give positive energy to these people. So thanks so much for listening. Get your head out of your ass and uh, we'll talk again soon. I'm in my car, by the way. (laughs) I'm in my car. I definitely will make a video if I have to. If I have to. Okay, I'll go to a Starbucks. But yesterday, I last night, the way I loaded the video was I tethered my phone to my laptop, dude, the what's it called was super fast, man. The internet from tethering your phone to your laptop, if Verizon isn't gonna give you unlimited, um, what is it called, gigs or whatever, cause they would take Comcast out of business. Everybody has their phone. Why not just tether my phone to my laptop or to my home computer? Bing bow, you got internet. That's not gonna happen. Comcast would have a shit fit. So thank you for listening. I've tried to get off this thing already a few times, but I got tons of positive energy. Please feed off of it if you could. Enjoy. Head out of ass. Let's think positive. Future. Success. Power. Energy. Peace out.